Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Grimwit. This is Miasmata. Originally, I wanted to start at my home camp, Camp Vega. Instead, I'm going to start at this camp, which I found on the way to Camp Vega. We are right across the bay from the boat. The boat is situated right about here, on that ledge. South of us is another camp. This doesn't count as a camp, or a landmark. I've never found it before, even though I did find this camp before. Well, let's see what secrets lie in this camp. None at all. That clears it up nicely. I am here. I found another camp here. We actually passed by this camp. Let's see if we can find more clues as to what's going on and who the murderer might have been. Ooh, a tin can. Ooh. Can I pick up this knife? I can't. But this tin can might be deadly. No more clues, though. I may not have the plague, but I can still set fires with my mind. Awesome. Alright. We're at that lake in the middle. Where is it? Oh. Duh. There's a compass pointing it at it and everything. And just north of my location is... Get out of here. A camp. The first of a cluster of four. Here's another one of those makeshift camps that never made it. One might even wonder if the previous civilization made that camp, if, except it's wood. Let's see if there are any other notices. Nope, but there's a candle. The next one's right up there. Before that, though. Hello, little rabbit. Teach me your secrets. No, don't run away. I just want to hold you. Alright, that's enough of that silliness. I have work to do. Again, no notes. Should be two more camps in this line. The next one being to the east. I was unable to map this one. There's just no landmarks around except for that. But it's right up here. No notes anyway. Oh, there's a giant landmark in front of me. In fact, have I been here before? This is, of course there's no notes here. I've already been here. I need to head up north. Oh my... There's a good overlook over, oh uh, god, a split between the two clover leaves. This is the uh, stretch of water that we swam across right after getting the muscle emphasis drug. Ah, and here's the camp. Hmm? That's odd. 
Usually it pages right next to it. Should be the last note in here. There it is. Nope, it wasn't that. Looked like a picture of some kind. What the heck? I may have found a glitch. Hmm. Well, after checking the video that I just recorded and going through the entire journal, that journal entry I just picked up does not exist. That's very strange. I'm going to see if I can dig it up <laughs> separately. In the meantime, to the east, there is another camp, but it is far down a cliffside. Well, assuming I save, I do not fear cliffsides. All right. Let's jump off a cliff. Ah, there it is. This is the smartest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Whee! How's that for an entrance? And, of course, there is nothing to show for it. At least I can get a drink of water. Okay, so we're going to see if this works. <laughs> Let's find out. This was Sanchez's first entry about the idle heads that are all around the island. And he's just trying to figure out what they're about. Apparently, they each weigh about 200 tons. Spelled with an E. As much as possible, I've been trying to avoid doing any... Um, any kind of modifications. I wanted this to be a vanilla Let's Play. Unfortunately, I had to take the advice from Dark Star Sword who is a person who uh, reverse-engineered the game just to fix a couple of glitches. This was one of the glitches that he wanted to fix. The Sanchez Entry 1 glitch. People have known about it. So, um, if you want... <laughs> I'll, I have included the link to his Steam entry on the Steam forums. Um, basically, it's a patch. It is a patch for the game, and it fixes a lot of bugs. Yes, you should probably play it with a patch. There are also many mods for this game, or at least some mods. I don't know, I didn't really look into... I'm not a mod person, but, uh, I can't knock results. Anyway, thank you, Dark Star Sword. This... This actually helped me complete my Let's Play. Thank you very much. What is this? I can't even properly describe where I am on the map. I should be around here somewhere, near this head. Let me see if I can climb up top. A castle on a cliffside. Whoa, 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 no, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, ah. I wasn't in any danger, but boy, what an annoying fall. Wow. It is exactly as described. It's a <laughs> castle on a cliffside. Not sure where I am. Is this a landmark? Yes, it is. And if I'm lucky, the camp I'm looking for is nearby. 
That would be good because it's starting to get dark. Ah, there it is. No notes, but at least I visited this one. And I can continue my exploration in the morning. If you must know, I think I'm... here-ish. Do I have these? Believe it or not, there's still research to be done. That's all right. I'm going to be passing by several camps on my way to where I'm going anyway. All right. Let's see what this does. I'm surprised there's... I'm surprised I just stumbled onto it. Of course. If you hadn't noticed by now, there's a color coordination. Um... Color cord. Telekinesis! It's finally happened! I finally learned telekinesis! Let's set the telekinetic flowers down. I was going to stop recording, but this is just too fascinating. When will it stop? Where will it go? What is its final destination? Time only knows. Come on, little guy, you can make it to the water, I believe in you. You're almost there, you're almost there, don't stop now. Come on, Robert Hughes wouldn't stop. Oh, oh, so close, so close. Hooray! Now it can float off into the distance on its own. Be free, little flowers, be free. Here I am at Outpost Polaris again, because I forgot a cabin. And I'm not sure if there's anything inside it. Wouldn't it be nice if there was? It's this one. I think. If not this one, then maybe there's another? No, I don't think I got to this one. Huh, or did I? I was reviewing my videos and there just feels like there's something missing. I only visited four out of five cabins in this area. So where's the missing cabin? There's one, there's two, there should be three in a cluster. Huh. Guess I was wrong. Well, that's alright then. Too much strawberry sauce. There was a theory in the Something Awful thread that perhaps this area has actually flooded that it was a holy land, and then the waters came in and flooded the area. Well, here's some fodder for your, for your theory. I can't see how far down it goes, but it looks like quite a ways. It's either that or this is the throne room like I thought, and this was just a place to launch ships. I should have seen this earlier. Ah. <laughs> of course. Here's that owl statue that I missed so many episodes ago.
it's a good morning to end this. The boat landing's pretty easy to find. I don't think we'll need a weapon anymore. No Excalibur, no Masamune, not even a banana. We just follow the path to the end. We don't even need to trailblaze. The way's been made for us. It's like the ancient civilization is saying goodbye. One last structure. Second to last. None of the heads ever look outwards, away from the island. Always inwards. Old gods checking on their people. There's our destination. <laughs> Just lead straight for it. Goodbye, Eden. Forgive my last look at the sunset. It's just... The work that went into this game... I think is kind of telling of... How do I put this? It expresses very well its intent. It's a game that... Some thought was a survival horror. But that's such a small part of it. There's a mystery. Something to make you feel like... You're in a Jules Verne novel. While playing, many times I had flashbacks to old 1950s movies where people go exploring the jungles of Africa. Obviously, these weren't just jungles. Here in Eden, there's so many different kinds of biomes, different kinds of landscapes. They really wanted to fit as much as possible into a small space. The Brothers Johnson did good. If you're playing along, you'll be happy to know that even at this point, you always have the option of going back. Past these gateways, back into Eden. To explore, to find things I didn't. Even after the cure, there's much to be learned from the island. Perhaps you just want to complete it all. I'm fine without filling out my map, although I might return. And I think, for my part, this is about as complete as I can get without taking way too long. Goodbye, Outpost Vega. And all my strange paintings in the bedroom and... Oh. Well, someone was ready. Someone had their own journal to fill, I guess. <laughs> One last save. 
time to go. Feels like we left a mystery. But I guess we can't solve them all. We may never know who the murderer is. But as for Robert Hughes, Robert Hughes is not a good shipsman. I'm not entirely certain how he got this ship to back up onto the shore. What? With a banana? I don't know. Herbert Goo? I think he's found himself in a euphoric state of fight club. He may have his own Tyler Durden. Callus is the main bad guy, though. A sort of leader of anti-intellectualism. Up ahead is my favorite house, Herbert's house. Some kind of colorful cow cat. And here's the nice part. Here's the reason why you really want the cure. Robert Hughes no longer has to deal with the creature. It will no longer stalk us. The flower that we tried to make into a medicine last time could have been used to make an anti-hallucinogen. Robert Hughes believes that anti-hallucinogens are useless, I suppose. Robert Hughes isn't the man he used to be. What? I don't know who bothers. Okay. Apparently there was other trouble happening around here. Herbert must not have been the only one losing his mind. Well... Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you very much for joining me on this journey through a game that um, is too obscure for its own good. I thought this, I thought more people knew about this game. I, I really did. When I saw the advertisements for it, I knew immediately I had to have it. The Brothers Johnson made something that, I don't know. Even with all of its silly breaks and glitches in the engine, it still feels immersive, and I haven't come across a game like it. I hope I've inspired, well, I have inspired a couple of people to pick up this game. It deserves to be picked up. It's a really good game, despite its flaws. And, uh... Fuck you, Milo. No, I didn't, you didn't make any friends, Milo. Get the hell off the screen, Milo. 
Anyway. <laughs> you guys stay tranquil. And I guess I'll see you with whatever it is that comes next. I don't know what this QR code does. <laughs> <laughs>